Yeah, Jeff and Ashley, this is a decision that is a major, major reversal. Just last year, the Common Council was supportive of those cameras that you can see behind me, wanting them implemented to track speeds around school zones. Today, just the opposite. They're voting to have them removed. So what exactly could this mean? Well, potentially in the future, that lawsuit could loom over the Buffalo City and Buffalo Common Council. I wanted to make certain my colleagues and I um, that these cameras came down by September 1 and that people would not be penalized $50. Enough is enough. The Buffalo Common Council decided the school zone cameras should come down. In its place will be more speed bumps, signs, and speed radar signs. Councilmember Rashid and C. Wyatt, who sponsored the legislation, believes this will improve safety. I think it's going to make this, the, the areas more safe because with the additional speed humps that's going to be in place, the speed humps are 24-7. They're, they're, you don't remove them. The decision to remove the cameras and the $50 fine associated with going more than 25 miles an hour during school hours was not unanimous. The council voted 6-3 to three to approve, with Mayor Byron Brown not agreeing with the change. We have to have a combination of enforcement and a combination of traffic calming measures. According to Mayor Brown, the speed zone cameras have been effective, something Common Council member Joe Golumbek, who was one of three no votes, agrees with. I think there was an 82% or so compliance rate. According to Golumbek, he voted no because there was not enough time given to make sure the cameras worked properly. He also expressed concerns about how Census Gotso, the company who operates the cameras, will react. My gut feeling is, is that they are going to sue us, that we're going to lose. And it's going to end up costing us millions and millions of dollars. Councilmember Wyatt says this is not out of the question, but something that is necessary to get the cameras removed. Are you aware of if there could be any sort of potential lawsuits that could arise? Um, it possibly could, but we have attorneys just like they do. So <laughs> let the attorneys handle it. But at the end of the day, the council has done their job and done our due diligence. The mayor's office now has 10, 60 days, excuse me, to be able to give Census Gotso the information that they will not be using the cameras any longer. That 10 days that I just referenced, the mayor has 10 days to be able to sign off on this or unless he decides to veto. If that does happen, Councilman Wyatt did tell me that they have a super majority, so it actually wouldn't matter. So September 1st, the cameras would still be taken down. Live in North Buffalo, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.